but we'll get a general impression from the grouping size you know if it's five moa it'll be it'll be one and a half inches roughly yeah so five shots no i guess it'll be more than that five moa would be like Two and a half. Yeah, two point five. <laughs> Not one and a half. I'm like, wow, that's half tight. So I'm back with another video about my Type 81 SA named Q Sun. Today's video is mainly going to be about this, the grenade launcher sleeve. Uh, it's going to be a relatively short video, hopefully, just about me discussing my various ideas with this and and tinkering around, experimenting. Uh, as you can see, I've clearly taken the grenade launcher sleeve off the end of my Type 81's muzzle. And the main two reasons for doing this, uh, one of which being is just simply to see what the firearm look like, uh, looks like cosmetically with the grenade launcher removed. And then the second big reason why I did this is to see if this has any sort of impact on the firearm's accuracy. So, I, w I was just sitting in the shop looking over Q-Sun at all the various things I wanted to, to modify on her. And I decided, you know what, if I can get that grenade launcher to come off easily without modifying the gun or risk damaging it, why not try it? So I, I basically just propped the gun down on the table with the barrel over top, with the, the grenade launcher over top of this, this punch block. And then I just proceeded to hit out the one pin that's located on the bottom of the, the grenade launcher sleeve uh, towards the front sight assembly. I just proceeded to hit that out with a hammer and punch. It took only about five swings and it came out with relative ease. After doing that, how I got the grenade launcher sleeve off is I, I held the entire gun in the vise like this, hanging vertically. And then I just I pinched onto the this portion of the grenade launcher with the soft jaws and the vise, so the gun was suspended by it. And then I I held a piece of channel a square channel tubing or whatever up to this bayonet lug. And then I just hit it really hard with a hammer until the the sleeve started to move. Once it started to move, it it slid off relatively easy. Uh, especially once it reached around the, the inch and a half mark, the grenade launcher became loose enough that you could actually just kind of work it off by hand. Uh, of course, while I was doing this, I was making sure I wasn't hitting the square tubing hard enough to actually damage the bayonet lug on the front sight assembly. I did ori originally try to put some wood in there, but the wood was actually absorbing the impact of the hammer, and it was I was noticing I wasn't getting any progress done with the wood in there. And then other pieces of wood I tried just shattered, so I decided to go steel on steel, and that solved the problem. It, within the first couple swings of hitting steel on steel, uh, I noticed movement in the grenade launcher sleeve. And I did that all at just room temperature. I didn't heat anything up or anything fancy. It just that's how easy it was on my particular Type 81. So, a big part of this video coming up will be I'm going to take Q Sun as you see her right now out to the range and fire some groups for her just to see what sort of accuracy I get and see if there's any effect, any change in it. And the results of that will definitely affect my plans on where I plan to go ahead with this, this setup, whether or not I want to I want to put the muzzle brake or the grenade launcher sleeve back on the barrel or not. Uh, before we do that though I will go over I will give some dimensions for those of you out there that are interested in in uh, I know a lot of people have been contacting me in regards to taking a grenade launcher off to, to have some hopes in maybe moving the front sight up to the end of the muzzle. So I'll give you some dimensions to help your plans. Uh, the barrel with the grenade launcher sleeve off does still measure 18.7 inches. So I, I measured it with a rod down the barrel on a closed bolt and it measures 18.7 inches so it's still not restricted the grenade launcher sleeve off. The muzzle OD measures at around 14.44 millimeters. So it's about 0.44 millimeters uh, larger than uh, most of the other com 
block firearms out there. I know a lot of SKSs when I measure the muzzle it measures it around 14.03 millimeters so it's it's a little beefier but definitely has the material there to support uh, the classic 14 by 1 millimeter thread that you see on a lot of comm block guns like AKs and VZs. So for those of you like including me I'm thinking about it now uh, who want to put a thread on the end of this muzzle there's definitely material for it however there might actually be too much material if you're planning on doing it with something like just a die um, you might find it might be too tight to turn onto the muzzle because of all the excess material you somebody wants to thread this might actually have to turn down the material on the on the muzzle a little bit just to to make it easier to thread there is a section at the muzzle here that's about 1.3 inches in length where it maintains that profile but then after that the barrel actually drops down to a smaller profile uh, about 8 thou smaller than the diameter of this so this also measures at around 0.569 inches in diameter where this measures 8 thou under for about a section of 2.7 inches in length and then towards the rear where the front sight is here it pops back out to the, the same OD as up here at the muzzle so these two surfaces here are the same OD they measure at that 0.569 or 14.44 millimeters but the section in the middle is 8 thou under so um, a lot of people have been asking me what I, my thoughts on whether or not I, it's possible to get the front sight to move up to the end of the muzzle here and my answer to that would be if there's if there's a way to separate it from the gas block which there's a good chance there is because there's a seam between the front sight and the gas block here if if one can separate the two uh, if the OD that's designed the rest on is the same as the OD just in front of it I see no reason why this can't slip onto the muzzle here and be nice and tight like it is back here however if you were to put it up here you are going to have to drill the grooves or cut the grooves in the barrel for the two pins located on top of the sight to uh, hold it in place and another thing I have noticed is you're not when, once you get it installed up here for those of you who want to try and combine a muzzle thread with the front sight you're going to run into issues because that section up here isn't isn't long enough to support both the sight and some threads. So that's my thoughts on that. Alrighty, so I'm at the range today with Q Sun with the grenade launcher removed. I'm gonna go ahead and fire two five shot groups at 100 yards here using the Dominion Arms Ukrainian production ammo I was using before with this gun that uh, with the grenade launcher on seemed to shoot around five MOA, so not very good. We'll see if we can get something better uh, out of the gun with the grenade launcher removed. Um, since the last time you've seen Q Sun, I have made two modifications to her that I did not videotape. One of which being is I did fabricate a safety for the firearm. Uh, I'll show you a close-up of it, but basically it's a 90 degree throw safety that uh, turned out pretty good in my opinion. I'm quite happy with it so far. And that did totally solve the, the red spring plate coming out of the receiver, like, you know, coming loose that you noticed before when I was shooting, shooting Q Sun without the safety. Uh, that's now fully re retained in place so it doesn't come out anymore because that safety is installed. The second modification I made to the gun is I did remove the mag release and bent it more straight. Hopefully that will aid in Spetsnaz style reloads. Uh, like make them a little bit more easier to, to uh, perform. We'll see. I haven't really tested it yet. Alrighty. Five rounds. I think that's it. Yeah. So, um, 
This optic, I've been playing around with the windage and stuff on it, so it's not exactly zero to 100 yards, but it is on paper. Um, so when we go down there, we are going to notice that the group is definitely not where I was pointing, but they're all kind of in a grouping down there on paper, so it should still work for an accuracy test. I'll load up another five rounds, shoot the other piece of paper down there, and then we'll see what we got. See if it's uh, around 5 MOA-ish. thinking my plans will be, if I, I this 5 MOA seems to be a typical thing for this firearm. I am thinking uh, I will remove this this uh, POSP optic off the firearm and I will run probably the PKA red dot that you see on Vera on this firearm instead because that seems a little bit more appropriate for its its accuracy. Uh, then I'll run this optic on Vera because she has, she's proven to be a, a very accurate firearm as far as communistic, uh, you know, com block rifles go. So she deserves the, the magnification so far more than Q-Sun does. Okay, so here I am downrange, and I've just measured these, and this one measures at 4.87 inches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this one is quite a bit worse. This one measures... 5.61 inches at 100 yards, so just as bad as it was before. So I've shot quite a few groups of the firearm with the grenade launcher removed, and it seems quite apparent that the, the gun is still a 5 MOA gun, with even with the grenade launcher removed. So this appears to have no effect on the firearm's accuracy in my experience. So what my plan is going ahead for this setup is I intend to uh, submit the gun to a gunsmith, who will be able to put a 14 by one millimeter left hand AK thread on the end of the muzzle. And then what I intend to do once I get it successfully threaded is I'm gonna put the grenade launcher back on the firearm. However, I am gonna cut the grenade launcher off where the thread begins. So the idea of what I'm going for here is I'm gonna have this installed on the barrel and then I'm gonna have the muzzle brake thread on and butt up against this grenade launcher. Of course, there will be a crush washer, a 14 millimeter crush washer in between the two to keep this index properly so it doesn't work its way loose because, um, you know, this the Type 81 doesn't have any sort of retaining system like a lot of the other com block guns where they have a little button, that, a detent that locks the muzzle brake. This gun won't have that. It'll just simply have the crush washer, which I'm sure will work just fine. But yeah, with the, once it's cinched up just right with the crush washer and everything, I'm hoping it'll, it'll give the gun uh, the added advantage of having a muzzle device. So that'll reduce a lot of the muzzle jump on this firearm. But yet it'll have this really nice, in my opinion, uh, seam, seamless kind of transition from the grenade launcher to this AK-74 look-alike break. So that's what I plan. That's what I have planned going ahead from here and uh, we'll see how it turns out. There you have it. How's that? Pretty good, I'd say. Shoots well. Very. I can't, I can't see what the group looks like. We'll have to go down there. It's very uh, calm block. <laughs> 